welcome to the agrawal classes today in the first class of automobile engineering we will discuss about the transmission necessity here in the graph you can see this is the tractive effort graph curve tractive effort when the vehicle is in first gear this is the tractive effort of the second gear and this is the tractive effort of the third gear for different speed and these are the total resistance curve total resistance is the sum of the resistance of the miscellaneous resistance gradient resistance and wind resistance the wind resistance is a curve which is proportional to the square of the velocity miscellaneous resistance is constant with respect to speed and the gradient resistance is also constant with respect to the velocity so if you we'll sum up then this particular curves become the total resistance for the motion now before discussing this curve let us first have a look tractive effort that is the force which you are applying to move the vehicle and the total resistance is the force which tries to stop the motion so if the tractive effort minus total effort total resistance is positive then the vehicle will accelerate that is you are applying some net force so from the second law of newtons mass into acceleration so here force is positive so the acceleration will be positive in the second case if we we'll say the tractive effort is equals minus total resistance is equals to zero that means the tractive effort is equals to the total resistance so there is no net force acting so in that case the vehicle will run at the same speed and in the third case when the tractive effort minus total resistance is negative that means the total resistance is more than the force which we are applying so the net force will be negative and in that case the vehicle will deaccelerate as f equals to m into a f is minus so a will be minus okay so let us now move to the curve here say our vehicle is running at we are at point 3 vehicle is moving with an speed of c and in this particular point if you will see the tractive effort is this one and the resistance is this one that means the resistance is more than the tractive effort that means here tractive effort is less and the resistance is more that means the net force acting is negative so vehicle will deaccelerate so what will happen the vehicle will is vehicle speed will reduce from c to a so vehicle speed will reduce so it will reach up to this point as we are reaching to this point what will happen the tractive effort and the resistance will become equal that is the tractive effort minus total resistance equals to zero so the vehicle will continuously move with the same speed but if by some means we reduce the speed to be in that particular case what will happen the vehicle will have a net tractive effort so it will come here but the vehicle will have now the more effort than the resistance so vehicle will again try to move to an higher speed so that the tractive effort and the resistance becomes equal if the total resistance is increased say it is crossed the curve of this tractive effort say we are here somewhere in this case so in that case if the resistance is this much in that case what will happen we have to change the gear because to overcome 
this resistance this third gear position is not giving you that much tractive effort so in that case you have to change the gear and you have to shift to the second gear so in that case this will be the tractive effort on this curve we are having at this point and this is the total resistance so the tractive effort will be more and the resistance will be less that is the first case and vehicle will accelerate so vehicle velocity will increase and it will reach to this point and so when the tractive effort and tractive effort and the resistance become equal so vehicle will continuously move with this speed if the resistance is increased further say we are having on this line then in in this resistance level the second gear is also not in a position to provide the tractive effort so then we have to move for the first gear in the first gear we will have some point where this tractive effort is matching with the tractive resistance so that way the transmission necessity says that we need the different gears because depending upon the resistance we need the tractive effort and the tractive effort we can change only by means of changing a gear because the engine is producing but engine is not producing that much tractive effort at the velocity so we have to reduce the speed so that it matches with the required tractive effort